What's good, y'all? Figured I'd bring y'all a vlog video real quick. Um, something that's been on my mind as of late. I uh, just wanted to talk about appreciating art versus competitive art. Now, in terms of discussing these two things, they tend to go hand in hand. A lot of the time, you know, when speaking on the competitive aspects of things, yeah, it does play a major part in terms of the conversation surrounding what makes art what it is and how subjective people's views on art is. But in terms of the objective fact that comes with art is that people are going to have different interpretations of what they see, what they hear, what they read about. Any form of art whatsoever. You know, anytime a topic like this gets brought up, we tend to associate music with it, but it's not just music. It's all forms of art that we talk about it like this, in this way, in this manner. Yeah, the competitive aspect of it, it does play a major part in terms of how the conversation comes about, because without that element, how can we talk about anything, right? Because not everybody is going to be on the same page. Not everybody is going to have the same mindset. Uh, people are going to have different interpretations on things, different points of views on things. You know, it's just a matter of coming to that understanding, finding some common ground with it, but also understanding the differences between those points of views, which is understandable, of course. But I'm usually the type of person that just want to be able to appreciate art as is, especially when the getting is good to get a chance to really see the potential and the greatness that comes with it. I love being able to appreciate the good of what comes with the artwork, with the art itself, knowing that you can tell somebody put their hard work and effort into their passion so that When it's put on display for people to look into, sometimes it's just a matter of really coming to terms with loving the work for the love of the work itself. That you can tell that the artists who put it out there put all that love putting all that time and effort into making the pieces, creating, constructing, building. You know, movement, writing, whatever it is, drawing, painting, whatever it is that brings art to the forefront, that gives art meaning when that amount of passion and compassion goes into it, you can tell that they love the work that they do. You can tell that they see themselves in the work that they present to the rest of us. And that's pretty much the goal that I go for when it comes to the work that I do and looking forward to continue doing, continue to expand on, to explore what more I can bring to the table, as well as witnessing other people who has done that already and continue to do so, or they're also on the come up doing that as well. So yeah, while the competitive aspect plays a major part in the conversation 
in terms of how people see it, perceive it, interpret it, of course, it's a no-brainer there's going to be comparisons made because, yeah, it's inevitable. Comparisons are going to be made. Sometimes we can't help but compare one thing to another. But sometimes I just feel like just being able to appreciate the work alone, even when it can be inspired by something or someone else, even with that, as long as they're able to find their own voice within it and not just trying to imitate, that's something I could always look forward to. That's something any of us could look forward to. I love being able to see that whenever you see an artist, whenever you hear about an artist putting themselves into their work, given the amount of time that they put into it, given the amount of effort that they put into it, given the amount of love that they put into it, you can tell that they're doing it for the love of it. Of course, amongst that, you have to think about how you're going to network. What's the financial gain that you get from that? Of course, there's all of that that comes into play. But at the same time, even though, again, inevitability here, that's going to be the case. The thing of the matter is, if you're going to work within the craft of whatever it is that you do. If you're going to work within, if you're going to work with it, if you're going to find yourself through the craft, being able to learn how to really appreciate it when you do that, do it for the love of it, then you're in it for the right reasons. And that's something I tend to look forward to whenever I want to bring my work to the forefront. Whenever I see others bring their work to the forefront, it's because they do it for the love of it. Of course, the other factors are going to come into play, but what's the most important thing when it comes to art? When you're feeling it, when you're loving it, because that's what you're passionate about, that's the most important thing. It's the type of thing where you feel inspired to bring more to the table. And even when you can have the influence of everything and everyone else. But you make sure that you're not trying to copy them, imitate them. You find your own voice within it. Therefore, people will notice you. That's what art means to me. We can talk about the competitive aspects of it all, like who's better than who, um, who's going to rival who, who's going to take it for someone who's on the come up versus someone who's already had more experience. Sure, there are aspects of that that could be lessons, um, teachings of how to approach it how you can get people to see you for who you are as an artist and how you're willing to step up to the challenge of being able to go head to head with somebody to get people to talk about what's the potential here what can you bring that they're going to notice that they're going to see can you do better? You know, that's usually the expectation going into that. But I feel like appreciating the art also allows people to be able to um, see where they can improve, see where they can do better for themselves. So even though both coexist, and I get that, I'm more of appreciating everything we have. Because sometimes we make it a competitive thing 
it tends to be heated arguments from there and it could go way left. You never know. Just got to be mindful of that. Art in the many forms we got it and still continue to get, let's just step back and take a moment to appreciate the fact that we even have it. Otherwise, do we even care? And that's what I'm going to leave y'all with. This is Blue Flames, the poet, and I'm out.